Oh my god, welcome to my mullet tutorial. Thank you for coming to my meeting today. Welcome to the first video. Why am I, am I gonna explain myself? No. And if you couldn't tell by the mirror that is probably blinding you in the corner of the frame, today I decided because I'm gonna maybe start videos again, I'm gonna try to become a beauty guru in the year 2018 because apparently it's the worst year to be a beauty guru. The first thing that's first uh, that I noticed about beauty gurus is they always have a headband or something cute to keep their hair back and I mean I currently look like Billy Ray Cyrus and Kurt Cobain's surrogate child so I could only find this because I'm currently packed away to move to college so we're gonna just use this piece of fabric it's gonna be real retro I swear to god and it doesn't fit my head okay I found the, these headbands we're just gonna put both in cuz beauty gurus are extra <sighs> gotta get these sweaty bangs out of my way bane in Oh my god, I look absolutely awful. Hello! Do I look like Robin Williams yet in the freaking Flubber movie? I'm losing circulation to my brain. <laughs> okay, this isn't working. I just need a bobby pin. We're gonna do my little Avril Lavigne poof. Oh my god, it looks like Jimmy Neutron. Three, three, three two, 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 one, one, one. Got a blast! Now we have to go to the actual first step, which I wrote down here in my phone. Step number one, go on Twitter and see what your audience wants you to do because you're not original to make up your own ideas. Is that not what most beauty gurus do? Well, nobody follows me on Twitter except you right now. Eh? Oh, I almost missed step two, actually, which is realize your old risky tweets have surfaced again. So you have to make an apology video real fast. I don't have any I have a vitamin water for my tears, can I? Already better than Laura Lee, let's be honest. I'm just sorry that I disappointed you. And it's totally not my fault, even though I basically put out those tweets with my free will. I don't want you to attack my family. Um... <sighs> Is that good enough? Oh, I think so. That was already longer than Laura's video. So I win. I think I win. Hi, I go to college for performing arts. Please give me an Academy Award now. Thank you. Number three, recover like it didn't happen. Hopefully your subscriber count isn't affected. <laughs> oh, let it be known I wrote this. So I was in a savage mood. Four, you start the actual makeup. Uh, now here's the funny thing about most beauty gurus. They skip like half the makeup process in their videos because all that matters apparently is eyes and lips. But let it be known, usually when I'm going to a video, it's me trying to learn the face. Like I, I do, I'm good with the eyes, I'm good with the mouth, I'm not good with the rest of the face. Do you see this complexion? It needs help. This is my moisturizer. It's Gucci, obviously. Six hundred dollars. This is my uh, Louis Vuitton primer, because that obviously exists. It's a lightweight formula. I don't know if it does anything, and I'm just gonna keep complaining about it, because I use moisturizer, and it has freaking SPF. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to foundation. I use a drugstore brand for uh, foundation. I'm gonna do this hand thing that doesn't actually freaking work on my camera, but am I Am I a boo booty a booty guru? Next video. Am I a beauty guru? Yet, I use this all over my face. Mainly, I put it all over my zits, even though it's not a concealer. But we're here, Deborah. I have spirit gum lying in the middle of everything. Why? Okay, I guess I'm gonna just do my brows, even though everybody does brows last. Here's the most frustrating thing about this process. I typically do my eyebrows first, and then my eyes, and then my face, because a fallout, I use cheap as hell makeup because I'm not, I, I'm, I'm a college student. You think I can afford freaking Urban Decay? No, not unless it's in my Ipsy. Um, what was I ranting about? <laughs> and also because of my freaking wrinkle lines, I guess I'm just so stressed already that I have to be here. What am I saying? I'm using Benefit. I'm not gonna lie to you now. Here's the best part. I don't actually really need to do my eyebrows because I get them waxed and the ladies at the wax place are like, uh, you really don't need to do this. And I'm like, it's $10. Let me just pay you. Now that I look we weird as heck, obviously. What's new? I'm gonna take a brown and um, this is the first eyeshadow palette I saw. There's a brown in every one of them. I'll take this Luxie brush because I have 20 of them. I don't know where they came from. And I'm gonna do the end of my eyebrow. Um, as you can see, I'm really gentle with this step. <laughs> my eyes literally turning red. My eye, my eyeball, my anatomy. And then the best part about eyebrows is I take my fingers 
and then I just kind of wipe off the ends and then I have that airbrush effect everybody wants and really the point is I didn't do anything all right let's do the eyeball time um I don't even know what I want to do. Now the best part about doing your eyes as a beauty guru is you really don't have to show any of the process because you can fast forward through it all. So it just looks like you're going like a million times, which I think is just wonderful. Where, where's my brush? I'm so organized. Good morning. We're going to take this color. Guess which one? Guess which one? I'm going to put it all over. It looks like I'm in fast motion, but I'm not. I'm just doing this really fast because I have to leave soon. Now I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put it on the, the creasy boy. Now that you didn't see me do that step because I was too embarrassed by the process of me getting here that I just cut to this moment in time. But I'm gonna do this once or twice to make you feel better about the fact I did that. I'm totally not gonna use the same brush. I mean, this one's from Glamour Dolls. It's so pretty. I mean, it's a Morphe. It's a Morphe. Use the code ANAHEARTBEAT10 for 10% off your Morphe brushes. Just kidding. If you do that, it might recommend them to sponsor me or do an affiliate code. Okay, we're going to use this color. Okay, realistically, though, like, when I do this eye look, and this is my, like, red grungy eye look that I do on occasion, and I'm gonna be straight up with you, I really have such a messy process, which is why I can't really be a beauty guru. Don't tell Patricia that. Now, I'm too lazy to do a cut crease, because that's gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna tuck my finger and rub it on my eyeball, and it's gonna look cool anyway. I actually never do this step. I'm just feeling crazy today. <laughs> Okay, what the hell is next? Bubba, instruct me please. Oh, I'm teaching you. <laughs> yeah. That's the point of a makeup tutorial with a boot booty guru. I look dead. Okay, next is uh, eyeliner. I'm gonna use this eyeliner. My favorite brand. I hate wing line eyeliner, but I'm gonna do it today for you because that's what every booty guru does. Okay, I'm seriously gonna turn off the camera for this one. <laughs> I'm so quirky. Can you see this wing? Barely exists, because I hate wing eyeliner. Oh, it's sponsor time, sponsor time. I'm sponsored today. I'm sponsored today by Audible. Have you ever been illiterate? Me too, but I'm still sponsored by a company that I don't understand. Moving on, what is the next step? Oh, eyelashes. Guys, it's in the like, bottom of this bag. I love my medieval torture devices. Beauty is pain, pain is gain. Gain is multi-grain. And we're vegan. Here's some mascara. It's like a grab bag from Hot Topic when they have a sale. <laughs> Am I right, emos? Ready to see the eighth wonder of the world? I've already used this joke in past videos, but they're private now, so who cares? I could do this with my mouth closed. Jealous yet, Rebecca? Now, I don't put a lot of mascara on because the Lord above blessed me with long lashes to reach up to his tiny little hands up in the magical clouds. Uh, but the problem that lies from this is that I continuously get mascara stuck in my crease. Because oily lids, oily lids. Okay. Oh, then I start my face. Okay, so I did concealer. This is obviously tart. I'm gonna make a quirky joke about the Illuminati now because I just put triangles under my eyes. <laughs> ah, cover up all those imperfections that I just can't fix. Acne treatment ain't working this week, fellas. I'm allergic to makeup. Oh my god, I legit just drooled from that sneeze. Date me, please. This makes it look like I actually own a fancy brush. It's called Visanti. Oh my god, I kind of get why beauty gurus just cut with everything. I feel so much pressure recording myself right now. I still look very dead. So how are we going to fix this? Well, we're not going to fix it yet because I'm going to use some powder. Pat, 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 pig. While that sets, well, it's bacon. Ooh, insert 420 jokes here. I'm from Colorado. That's insensitive. Blush. 
Oh, I just got this new crown brush. It's literally got like even inserts for your little fingies and it's like soft as hell. Uh, this is a blush, but it's su super a contour color on me because I don't know if you see how pale I am right now and poorly lit, but that's because I'm in the process of moving get off my butt. That. We're just gonna put this basically all over my face. I actually, I so I use this, I just got it, and I use it for my contour mixed with my blush, and I really like it. This is honestly me. There's no joke there. I just, I, that's. Make that forehead non-existent. My head is the average size of a male head. Fun fact, it's too big. Are you sweating? I'm sweating. Now we're gonna do the, no. We are going to take this, mm. Just rub it all over the places I put powder earlier so there's no excess. Because I freaking know what I'm doing. I went to the cosmetology school of... Okay, I'm gonna take this other powder and put it literally everywhere. This powder's nice because it basically erases all the mistakes you made and most of the makeup job you did. Okay, highlighter time. First, I, I kind of have like a highlighter primer and it's just the other half of this concealer. I only use this concealer because it's $3. Like, it looks like I just put frosting all over my face. Now we're gonna take actual highlighter. I like this Luna highlighter I got in my Ipsy at one point. Can you see it? Probably not. Okay, how about now? How about now? I'm like Jeffree Star in this aspect. I put so much highlighter on because it distracts from the ugliness on the rest of my face. That, like, that's a canary on my face. I'm not gonna lie. Smash. Pass. Oh, and now I do the little spray. I actually have a good spray. Urban Decay good spray. I got this because Jeffree Star said it was okay. But I don't put it on as many times as Jeffree because I can't afford that. Totally got that in my eyes. Here's to going blind. Last step is lips. We're gonna use this little popsicle. We're gonna. Some ASMR for you. I'm just gonna put it all over. Go fix my hair real fast and we'll do our dramatic ending that most beauty gurus do. Ew. God, camera does make you a lot better. This looks a lot worse in person. All right, here's the finished look. I look fine. All right, what's the moral of the story here today, kids? The moral today is don't drink pop because I drank pop for one week and I got herpes. I mean, I got a lot of zits. Other moral is don't be a beauty guru because it kills your camera's battery and storage, 3D effects. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day. The meeting is officially adjourned. Good night, everybody.